Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today's gonna be a pretty quick video, but it's super important and it's literally something that I do every single day at my job as a full-time director of paid social at a fully remote marketing agency and that's spy on my competition's Facebook ad. So um, oddly enough, we're starting at Google um, today, but the place where you can actually go to see your competition's ads is facebook.com slash ads slash library. And when you get there, um, this screen's gonna pop up. Um, you can see that you have an all ads tab, search for ads by advertiser name, um, another section for issues and politics, and another section for housing. Um, and yeah, like this just allows you to essentially type in the brand, um, the brand name or your competitor's name so that you can see what kind of Facebook ads they're doing. And frankly, I also use it a lot to get inspiration from what a lot of the best brands are doing. So let's go ahead and spy on some competitors or at least big brands and see what they're doing. Um, like I said, I do this almost every day just because I wanna see not only what um, my brand's competitors are doing, but also like what big brands are doing. If they're doing something interesting, I might try and replicate it um, in some of my own ads. So <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna be a shocker, but I really like Lululemon's ads because um, they have a lot of really great mobile first content that um, that I find actually serves as a great template to send to clients. So oftentimes I'll see a video um, on Lululemon's ads library and I'll take a screen recording of it and I'll send it to my clients and be like, hey, this is the kind of video I want you to make. And I know that they definitely have one that I can show you right here. So this video, let's go ahead and watch it. So this is a great example of mobile first content. Um, number one, the format is create, that's gonna be as annoying as hell. Okay, so this video is great mobile first content because um, it's made to look at on a phone. So it's not landscape, it's a little bit more, um, you know, mobile optimized in that sense, but it's also really short. You gotta like get um, your, like you have to get your, um, your customers and users attention really quickly. So they have someone that's jumping up and down, fast movement, that's something that's really good for mobile first content, but they also have their logo at the front and um, they have a bit of a tagline that is, um, that like gets to call out, you know, specifically either, the product or the feature. Um, so yeah, huge fan of whoever does content creation for Lululemon. You guys are doing great. And it looks like this is another example of mobile first content. This is actually probably one that's optimized solely for um, Instagram stories, which is another really great tactic that I recommend for my clients. Um, again, they have like the logo featured prominently. Um, they have some call outs. I love the shot of the phone and the shorts because I know that's a feature people really want. And they have a testimonial. So um, this is a great ad and I'll probably actually take a screenshot of this later to send to some of my apparel clients because it's really well done. Um, underwear, great, right in my video, love it. Um, but yeah, like a lot of their stuff is, you know, they use bold text, not too much text, which would be, putting us at risk for something like um, ad delivery. But I always try to check out and see what they're doing because they do have a lot of good stuff. What is another brand? Billy is already up here. It looks like I was looking at Billy on Friday. Not super surprised. I love Billy's content because it looks like it was filmed with an iPhone, which like whenever I talk with new clients or you know, other brands about content creation, they always get this like glazed over look in their eye, which is like, oh my God, now I'm gonna have to spend tons of money, not only on advertising, but on also on creative for the advertising. And it's like, no, it doesn't have to be that way. You can create really great videos with an iPhone. Um, and like this one, like these are literally pictures that 
in videos that people took with their iPhones and with just a few simple like added graphics they made it like super engaging and it's mobile first like uh, I love it let's take a look at another one see it's like another example of how you can get really great video content by using user generated content which is a great great strategy it's something I'm pushing a lot these days for my client so you know Billy does this super well and I've definitely taken a few of Billy's videos and sent them to my clients so that um, they have a good example on what to create okay so thank you guys <laughs> okay so I think you guys get the picture um, I could go down a black hole for this for days um, something I also really like doing is trying to figure out which ads um, are for retargeting only and which ads are for prospecting only. Um, yeah, so like that's it. Like I am spying on the con competition all day every day. So if you haven't done it yet for your competitors, go look at it. But also, you know, depending on your industry, I would make a habit of every few days at least once a week checking out what leaders in your space are advertising with and if there's something that you can replicate um there's a lot of good ideas out there and you definitely want to be testing as much ad copy and creatives as possible so that you know what actually speaks to your audience okay um that's really all i have today and this lighting situation is pissing me off and i'm hungry so i'm gonna go okay bye guys <laughs>